Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Michi Makes Up. Today I wanna to look at Dior's new collection, Dior Riviera, with you. And the collection had a handful of items. I picked up one of the two Quints and one of the two Dior Couture Luminizers. Um, the Quint that I picked up is called um, Dior Riviera. And when I saw the online photos, I was really mostly drawn to the two bottom deeper shades because it looked uh, more mauvey, purpley, and plum. In person though, I can see a lot more brown, which I was a little bit hesitant about, but once I went in to swatch it, I think this is a gorgeous palette. I'm also thinking of picking up the other Quint when they put it back on the website. There's a little story behind that one, um, which I'll, I'll go over in, in just a bit here. But the luminizer I picked up is Pink Riviera. And I wonder if this is, if there's enough pigment here that I might be able to use it as a blush, like a very light blush. And of course it's gonna have a lot of shimmer. Um, we might try that out on one cheek versus the other. So, let me go ahead and swatch this for you guys, the Quint first, and then we'll get into the Luminizer. So the story is that Dior had made this collection available on their website uh, too soon. And it sounded like, you know, it's kind of hard to say with all the supply issues these days, um, but it sounded like they made it available too soon. They took it off the website. It's supposed to come back later this month. So I'm looking forward to it coming back because I think generally there was a lot of interest or there is a lot of interest for this collection and it just wasn't around for that long. And I've got one more shade, this matte shade here to swatch for you. All of the shades are very smooth and they're actually very intense, especially for a Dior Quint. And Dior Quints, unless they're the deeper color stories, typically the shadows aren't that intense in payoff, but this is an exception um, and it's a little bit surprising for a collection because I think back to a Cruise Look 2022, which was released, um, I think in the middle of 2021, that was a nice and light quint. I'll take it out, we can look at it in a bit here. And I think um, Birds of a Feather collection from last summer, that was on the lighter side as well. There was also one where um, the Dune collection and that was lighter as well. So this one here is really nice because it's a departure from that, but it's still um, by itself regardless. It's still a beautiful color story. So I'm definitely gonna demo this and create a look. As for the Luminizer, I am a fan of their Luminizers. I think they're beautiful. I have two other shades, Pink Glow and Golden Glow and I'll take those out to compare as well. So let me get right into creating a look using the Quint and then we'll use the Luminizer. Then at the end, per usual, we'll get into the comparison swatches. I'm taking this shade here and placing that generously all over the lids. This is a beautiful shade. It would be an easy one and done choice for me. And for anyone new to the Dior Quint collections, what they like to do is they recommend, oh, they don't have it here this time. Okay, so this is the box for the Riviera Quint. And typically right at the top, like inside here, it would suggest um, how you can create a more intense look versus a lighter look. And I think it still applies here because of the placement of the shades, but they recommend, you know, using these three shades for a deeper, more intense look, and these three shades for a lighter look, which I agree with them, that you can certainly do it that way. You can mix and match. Um, for demonstration purposes, I will um, go into actually all five shades today. And what's notable here too is typically the boxes for their quince um, are in a glossy finish but this one is in a matte finish. In fact, I thought the shades from photos online, I thought they were all matte, but not, not the case. I mean, these are all metallics and this is 
a matte. So we've got uh, four metallics, one matte. All right, anyways, let's get back to the look. I'm going to deepen the outer corners with this matte shade here. And I just want a smidge of that. Not too much. And then I'm going to blend that out. Taking a finger, I am putting the shade onto the center of the lid. Just to brighten things up, I think it looks really pretty. Very complimentary on top of the shade. I want the two sides here to be uh, blended out some more, so I'm just gonna go in with a very, this jumbo blender from Sonia G. And I'm gonna do that, diffuse more. Then I'm taking the shade here and using it as an eyeliner for the upper lash line. We'll see how it goes. I might use it for the lower lash line as well. And I realized that I didn't blend out enough that matte shade right here. So I'm just gonna go back in to do some more work. And I'm using the shade here to brighten the inner corners. You can certainly use a shade to actually uh, place onto the center of the lid. So if you were to use these three shades for your look, you could put this all over your lid, use the shade to deepen the outer corners if you wanted to, and then use the shade to kind of be your center of the lid um, to brighten everything up. So that's definitely an option. And for under the eyes, I like to do the same thing here. Use this shade. It's so beautiful and creamy. It just reminds me of those metallic pencils like a Chanel metallic pencil or Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, so we have the look completed. I'm gonna put on mascara. We'll come back for the luminizer. For the luminizer, uh, I cleaned off this side of this rougher brush. This is brush number five. As much as I can, I think we're okay there. I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to lightly run it across to see what kind of pigment we get. Okay, it's definitely really light, so it's not to be used as a blush, uh, at least not for me. So let me find a blush and then we'll actually apply this as a highlighter. All right, I'm going to use from Dior's Birds of a Feather collection. This is Nude Glide, which has some gold micro glitter, but it's pretty subtle. And I'm going to apply that just right on top of the luminizer I put on but you can see it's nice and subtle. Going back to the highlighter, I'm going to apply it onto the high points of the cheek. And a little bit on the nose. And for lips, I'm gonna actually try a different brand. It's actually from Merit. It is their signature lip, lightweight lipstick, and this is in the shade Millennial. Um, this is, I think, in a scent. Yes, this is gonna be in a satin finish. And this is the finished look. I thought the lipstick might have been or would be a little bit lighter on me, but this kind of medium cool pink is actually really nice. It feels great on the lips too. Uh, Merit Beauty is a clean beauty brand and I do love their products. Um, I'll talk more about the lipsticks in a different video, maybe like a try on new makeup video. But going back to Dior here, um, I do like the intensity of this look. I think the shades um, fit my skin tone really nicely 
and you can get two very distinct looks from it. You can mix and match and do whatever you wish. I don't think you'll be disappointed. There's enough deep shades for you to mix with the lighter shades to create something unique for yourself. So going into comparisons here, um, the first thing that really stood out to me actually are the other luminizers I wanna compare um, Pink Riviera to. So first we have Pink Glow. which is much lighter and cooler. Then there is Golden Glow. And to me, Golden Glow is more corally. But next to this shade here, that's more, it's a warmer kind of rose gold pink. This certainly does look golden. So these are the three different luminizer shades. As for palette comparisons, this was released um, 2021 holiday. And I just wonder if the shade is close at all to the shade that I have all over my lids. I think this is much bronzier. I'm gonna put it up here. Actually, it might be a dupe. Let me swatch this one from Riviera again. So what do you guys think? This deeper one is from the Holiday Palette and the lighter one is from Riviera, but they're similar. Okay, I can tell the difference. This is deeper, more coppery, and this is lighter with almost like I wouldn't say pink, but maybe there's a little less red in it. So this is Riviera. I'm just swatching it on top. Okay, it almost looks more pink actually in comparison. And this is warmer. So there is a difference, but they are close. And I mean, you could dupe the look by replacing the shade with this. And the other quint I said I was gonna take out is Cruise Look. We've got another coppery shade here. Um, let's swatch that as well. So I'm gonna put that right on top of these two. I mean, three almost dupable shades of each other. All three are slightly different. I think this is the, um, it seems to be the most intense, but also maybe has the most red, and this is the lightest of the three. And I'm curious about this light shade here, how similar it might be to this shade. I'll swatch this down here. This is definitely cool golden and this is more beigey or champagne like and there's my review on the dior riviera collection on these two specific items you can order the quince or pre-order them off of Saks. i'll have the links below and the collection should come back onto dior's website later this month at least that's what they're telling us uh, let me know below what you think of this collection i'll see you guys very soon in the next one bye